Look at verse uh, 11. This woman uh, also in Proverbs 31 is seeking to be a person that can be trusted. Uh, Again, contrastive to the foolish Proverbs 14 woman who you couldn't trust. It says, verse 11, the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. So he has no need of spoil. You know what spoil is? When you leave stuff unattended, it rots. You know what? He has no worry that, that, that she is going to have rotten parts of her life, that she's going to leave unattended her duties to her home, to her children, to her Father in heaven. She, he safely trusts in her. No need of spoil. Verse 12, I love this. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. It's an investment that just grows sweeter, more precious. Uh, also, here's another one. Look at verse 16 of Proverbs 31. A godly woman always seeks to be prudent in financial matters. Uh, this woman, by the way, wasn't wearing a babushka and tied to her sink. Look at this, what she does. She considers a field and buys it from her profits. She plants a vineyard. I mean, this, this woman is a very sophisticated woman, uh, and, and the biblical woman is. Verse 24, she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. I mean, she is a saver, not a spender. We can see she sees beyond today alone. She's not just living for what she can get out of it at the mall today, you know. She's looking down the road and sees how she can be prudent in financial matters. Look at verse, 19, or, uh, verse 17 first. A godly woman always seeks to be a hard worker. Verse 17, she girds herself with strength. She strengthens her arms. Verse 19, she stretches out her hand to the distaff. Uh, with her hand, she holds a spindle. You know what this means? It means when work's there, it doesn't retract her or repel her. She doesn't pull away from it. She goes toward it. And you know what happens if, if a godly woman goes toward work? Her children learn to work. She's a model. Um, boy, is that needed in our world today. Most, most kids are... I'm not going to tell my, my joke I always tell. I always say that when I was in high school, I thought manual labor was the president of Mexico. But I'm not going to tell you that. Uh, you know, uh, it's not good. But, but basically what I'm saying is she's a hard worker. She, she stretches toward, not away from. She's not slothful or indolent. L- look at verse 23. Here's another description. This godly woman always seeks to be a person who has a good reputation. Um, this is amazing. In Proverbs 31, 23, her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. You know what he's known for? He's known for the virtue and godliness because the context of this whole 31st chapter is who can find this excellent woman. And in that context, this woman who is giving to the poor, who is so prudent, who is so thrifty, who is so godly in her conduct, this man is known in the gates. He has a reputation for this woman that he's married to. This is what Paul says in 1 Timothy 3, 7, which I have in the margin right there by Proverbs 31, 23. It says, He must have a good testimony among those who are outside, lest he fall into reproach in the snare of the devil. In other words, Paul says that your family, your wife and children, reflect on your character. Make sure they're reflecting God's character is what he says. And so this woman does. She has a good reputation, a good reflection. 